Welcome back to my channel guys. I decided or I took a poll. I took a poll on Twitter and I asked the people that follow me <laughs> if what they would rather see because I was trying to come up with video ideas and it was either a highlight and contour routine or it was um, affordable brow routine. The majority was the highlight and contour routine. So I'm going to be doing that for you guys today. And it's going to be more for round faces because uh, your girl has a round face. So it's going to cater more towards rounder faces on how I do this. So if you don't have a rounder face and you just like to watch my channel, that's okay. I'm okay with that. So yeah, let's get into the video. Don't you hate when you like freshly do your brows and then like oh your makeup and it starts to itch? Okay. So I already applied my foundation and I just used the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation um, because it's five dollars and um, it does what I need it to do. It keeps me matte for the most part. Now towards the end of the day I do get oily. That's just because I'm an oily greasy mess and that's just gonna happen no matter what I use. So yeah I've gone through like two of these foundations. This is like my third bottle of this. I mean, I spent less money on three bottles of foundation than if I were to buy a $45 foundation and it's only one foundation. So, it is the Anastasia contour kit, the cream contour kit. Now, I will say that you probably see a lot of people recommend that you use these with like a beauty oil because they are really drying. Um, it's kind of hard to like pick up product a lot of the times. So I will recommend to use oil. I don't have a beauty oil, so it's hard for me to use this particularly, but I'm going to use just like the highlight shades. I'm not going to contour with it because I have something that's more creamier. This is just too dry to contour with because nobody likes a patchy contour. Nobody. And most of the time when I do like my highlight and contour, I don't contour a lot of the times. I just bronze because I feel like sometimes when you have a round face, if you don't get the contour in the right spot, it just looks like a line on your face. It doesn't look like you're hollowing out anything. So I kind of look, I like to look more like bronzed and warmed up versus, you know, <laughs> like a hard line. I with this just because it's too dry for me to contour with. And like I said, I like to bronze. So what I'm going to be using to actually um, contour today is this NYX concealer. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to take this brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to dip my brush into this vanilla shade. I think they have names. It's Fair and Banana. That's the name or shade names. This is the light contour kit. I don't know if I mentioned it. And I'm just going to kind of rub a generous amount under both of these. Now typically, if I don't use this, I will use my Maybelline Master Concealer, which I talked about in like two favorites ago, two favorite videos ago. So I really recommend that as well. It's a lot cheaper than this. But if I want like a strong highlight, I like to use this palette just because it brightens up a lot more. So yeah, I'm just going to take it on this brush and I'm just going to start dragging it down. And I'm going to drag it like straight down like by my nose, next to my nose. And I'm going to just bring it out kind of like in a triangle formation. And I'm probably going to have to get more just because, like I said, this is kind of dry. And yeah, and I'm just going to kind of pack that on there. Now, a lot of contour videos and highlight videos, you'll see people bringing it like all the way back here. But because my face is round, if I, I find if I bring it back, then it kind of widens my face versus bringing the light my, like, it kind of like, not shrinks my face, but it brings it all right here versus expanding it, if that makes any sense. It does, I don't like to elongate it. So that's just a trick if you do have a rounder face, likes me, likes me, like me. And I don't, I mean, I bring it, I have a birthmark right here. I bring it down right past my nose and I just all put it in the middle. And then I will just do the same thing to the other side. Kylie Jenner releases her birthday edition collection and I'm just like I'm taking the same um, the same color or the same concealer and I'm just putting it down the center of my nose so it just brings light because you want to distribute your light evenly so you want to bring it down there and then you want to bring it in just like a little shape up here. It doesn't really matter what shape. A lot of people just do like a flower or some shit. Just as long as you put concealer up here, 
right here in the center between your brows and bring it out a little bit it'll be good and then bring it on the chin a little bit and then right below here it's a highlighted portion of that and then I'm going to take this NYX concealer and I'm just going to um, start dotting it on my face right here and I don't like to put too much because it can get really heavy really fast I wipe some of it off like this and then what I do is I just go in and you want to find like you probably already heard you want to find the hollow of your cheek which I find to be right about in here like where your top of your ear is and then I'm not going to drag it too far down because I find that that can get really muddy so I just start to dot and I kind of make like this little bitty triangle like that. Same thing to the other side. I'm going to dot it up. Liquids, even though it looks better in the end, it tends to like, it takes a lot of blending. Let me tell you people, it takes a lot of blending to where it doesn't get patchy. And then I'm going to put some right here on the temples. And I'm going to kind of put some down here because a lot of people, they won't always put it here. But with the round face, it pushes it put the light stays here and it kind of pushes it in so it kind of pushes your face in if that makes any sense and I put some on the other side here by underneath your chin because Lord knows if you got a round face you probably have more than one chin and so if you put it right here it kind of curves your chin out so it doesn't look so round and then some people like to put it on their jawline but I find that it makes it look like I have a line of bronzer underneath there and it kind of I don't know, it just doesn't look natural, so I don't like to do that. Then once you actually put it all on your face, you're going to go in and blend it. I like to use a damp beauty sponge just because it's the only thing I find out that blends and doesn't get cakey or messy or streaky. So if you want to help this blend a little easier, um, if you have MAC Fix Plus, I suggest you can spray it all over your face. And it kind of helps the product sink into your skin and it just blends it out a lot better. So damp beauty sponge, fix plus, and you're good to go. So spray your face with my sponge. And sometimes I go back and forth with which one do I want to blend out first, my contour or my highlight. A lot of times I like to blend my contour out first because that's what's going to get most harsh if you let it sit too long and then it's hard to blend out. So I just kind of squeeze this and I go in and I try to blend it as best as possible. And like I said, it... Definitely, a lot of people, like a lot of YouTubers or when you see those videos on Instagram where they blend it out, they see, look, they make it look like it's really just, you put it on there, blend it out, and it's done, but it's not that simple. You really have to, because see, it still looks hard. I mean, unless that's what you're going for. If you're going for a harsh um, contour, that's one thing, but I don't know a whole lot of people that want harsh lines on their face. I mean, personally, that's just not my cup of tea. I feel like I look like a crazy person right now. And so you just continue to blend your life away. And see, this is why I said to, I like to personally go in with this first because if you leave it on your face too long, it really starts to look, um, I guess blotchy. I'm just gonna kind of skip to this blending part because nobody wants to see. And when you start thinking it's gonna look money, just don't give up on yourself. Just keep blending. And there's also ways we can clean your contour up, and I'm gonna show you how to do that um, with translucent powder. So don't just give up quite yet, because it's going to come together eventually. That's the thing about makeup, is it's just, it's like a work in progress. You have to like keep blending and keep powering through, because if you look at it midway and you're like, this just looks like complete shit, and you give up, you're just never going to work on yourself, if you know what I mean. You're never going to fix the issue. So you just keep working at it. contour blend it out like so 
we're gonna go in and blend the highlighter. I'm watching um, Jaclyn Hill's video. I don't. It was one of her recent ones. I don't know if it was. Um, I think it was like her summer foundation routine, something like that. And she talked about when you're blend. There we go. Get up close and personal. Anyways, so she was saying that um, don't just press like this and continue going like that, going back and forth motions. So that will help it not crease. And a lot of people they like to bring the highlight up on their nose to give it like, I guess, to contour their nose and make it look slimmer. So I mean, if you're into that, you can do that. Do. Is this too close and personal? You just let me know. Gosh, sometimes when you don't film a video in a long time, you don't feel like yourself. Like, you feel like when you get on camera, you're just like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like shy and like you don't know what to say and you're out of breath, like how I've been. But I just, I need to get back into it and stop procrastinating. But the thing is with me, if you know me well, I don't like to film in front of other people or when people are in the house and I, li I moved back home with my parents so whatever you have left on your um, sponge if you want you can just go under here where your contour is and just kind of pat it underneath and it helps clean it up a little bit just go around the edges and I'm going to blend up here a little more because it doesn't it looks a little patchy and like I said I'll admit cream contour and highlight it looks a lot better like it makes your makeup look a lot more flawless but um it just takes more time and blending to do versus just throwing on a bronzer and some highlight you know what I'm saying so you blend that out put it out like so you're gonna take any translucent powder you have um I used to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder but that was hella expensive so yeah, I still have a little bit left, and I'm, like, holding on to that little bit because $40 for a translucent powder is just not what's up. Patrick Star's recommendation, I found the Cody Airspun Powder, which I have powder in the cap, so I'm just kind of showing you like this, which you've probably already heard of. Um, I could never find it anywhere, like, locally, like Walmart and all that. I couldn't find it. So one day we, when we went on um, spring break in Florida... We went to Walmart and they had like a whole shit ton of them and I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get some in Texas. So I was like, let me get two of those and I'm still on my first one and I use it a bunch. So if that says anything. So what you're going to do is you, I just put a bunch of powder in the cap like so, like literally you just toss a whole shit ton in there. Like you can never have too much powder. And I'm right because that takes a little time. I go back in because I have like really creasy eyes. I go back in and I blend it out one more time before I put the powder on because if you let it crease and then you put powder on it, it's just going to look really bad. So you'll dip your damn beauty sponge into the powder and I'm sure you've heard this as the baking method. I'm sure you've already heard the expl explanation from the baking method. So I'm going to save you all that. Set on underneath your eye. You're just going to take a shit ton of powder and you're going to kick it underneath your eye. And it's just going to set it in there and you leave it on for about 10 minutes while you finish the rest of your face. And so yeah, you're just going to pack it on like so. And like, if you're really oily, this will be like your best friend all day, every day. You will never leave its side and you will never let it go. You will do this every day you do your makeup. And I believe it originated from drag queens is what I heard when watching tutorials when they started doing it. Or when it started becoming a big thing. So shout out to you drag queens. Thank you. I like to pack it the other places I highlighted just because I have an oily face so I like to set it everywhere. I feel like my voice is going to get like hella annoying in this video because I don't do a whole lot of talk through videos and I'm just sitting here like... The trick to cleaning up your contour is to do the same thing. You're going to bake right underneath it. And I like, since this is why I like the Real Technique sponge because it's got that flat pointy end and you just dip it in there like so, like you would do baking. And you're just going to go right under there and you're going to clean it up. And you also let this sit for a little while because. It'll make it, if you just put it on there and then wipe it away right away, it's it's going to defeat the purpose. It's not going to stay like that crisp line. 
So yeah, so if you ever feel like, you know, your contour goes too low, this will be your best friend as well. Then I let this cook on my face for another however long it takes me to finish my makeup. So I'm going to let that sit. And what I'm going to do with my um, contours, I'm going to go in and I'm going to bronze it. Because once you put like a liquid down, you always want to kind of go in and set it with the powder. So I'm just going to use any bronzer. I'm going to go in with um, Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And this is just a great everyday neutral, not too warm, not too cool color to go in and set your powder with. I use this brush from, it was a Sephora Minnie Mouse collection. Um, and it's just kind of like a fluffy angled brush that I'm going to go in, swirl it in. And I'm just going to go in the hollows and I'm just kind of... I'm going to try not to wipe that powder off when I do this. But you just go in between there and you just kind of lay it down. And then you just go in and then you just bronze it up. Which I don't know if you would consider this like a bronzer. Well, it's Hoola. I think it's called Hoola Bronzer. But it's a part, like I said, it's a perfect neutral. Like it's not too warm and it's not too cool. So you're not going to look ashy, but you're not going to look orange either. So if you can find a bronzer like Hoola, you're in good shape. Uh, finish whatever you have left to do on your face. And then you're going to wipe the powder off. So brush like so. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to wipe all this powder off. It also, um, baking, depending on like what kind of powder you use, whether it's translucent or like a brightening powder, it can really make your under eyes pop more. And I'm just going to wipe that off. And I'm going to wipe all the powder off. I need a bigger brush to wipe all this powder off my face. Wipe, 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 wipe. It's a lot faster that way. Oh, you can kind of go back in and bronze a little more now that you don't have the powder in the way. A trick to if it looks time, like sometimes too sharp, just kind of blend upward so it doesn't just look like a harsh line. And it kind of diffuses it a little bit. I'm going to add some highlight to my cheeks and then I am going to be finished with this video. So I will see you in a minute. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. This is the finished look. This does take longer if you're trying to like, if you're in a hurry, don't do all this shit. You don't need to do all this shit. Just throw on some foundation, some bronzer. You're good to go. But this is if like you have time to sit down and look glam as fuck. Just contour your cheekbones. And like I said, this caters more towards round faces. If you don't have a round face, you can still use these techniques. But I would watch somebody that probably doesn't have a round face because it might turn out a little different for your face shape. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, so we can have our 500 subscriber giveaway. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for the support lately, and yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Bye!